What's going on guys, it's me Stock Picks by Tim and in this video I'm going to go over some earnings. This week we have a lot going on. I'm going to mention their earnings date, I'm also going to go over the chart and just show you what I think there. It is interesting that a lot of these are running hot, coming up to earnings. So if numbers don't come in as expected, it's very possible we have a drop, although it's also very possible that the market has already priced some potential bad earnings in, just being that we've fallen so much. But let's get right into this video, let's look at some earnings coming up and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. and let's Let's start off with CleanSpark. So CleanSpark's expecting to report August 9, and this is going to be on Tuesday, and there's a couple more that are going to be reporting, and I'll tell you them in a second. But you know, CleanSpark is expecting revenue of about $35 million, and you'll notice that that is lower than their previous two quarters, which isn't a good sign. This is going to be actually their first dip in revenue as long as I can remember. Now looking at the chart, you'll see that we did break out of this like downward wedge, and we're trying to ride it as a support bounce back out of it. We are finding resistance right around $5.05, $5.10, we need to break out of that to keep going but i do expect some rough waters here you know earnings is going to come out they're going to likely have another unprofitable quarter and a dip in revenue for the first time which is definitely not a good sign and something uh, that wall street will definitely be worried about in my opinion but i'm very confident in clean spark and you know they're only dipping in revenue because of bitcoin's price bitcoin went from a high of 68,000, 69,000, all the way down to you know seventeen thousand dollars at its low point here and one thing to think about with clean spark is since it seems that they're phasing out of their energy side of business you know their price is definitely going to be affected by bitcoin a lot more moving forwards but you're definitely going to want to watch out for earnings i will be covering it so stick around and as for another one reporting earnings on the 9th this is going to be workhorse wkhs stock you'll see that this puppy just absolutely broke out of its ascending channel and now it came up to a resistance right around the 450, 460 area. And it is right around here where we're finding this resistance. Now I want to see, uh, I don't see Workhorse break past $5 and hold. But you know, I think we're going to have to wait until after earnings for that. But we do have some recent news in terms of green power. They are bringing Workhorse some trucks lately so they can begin production on their W750s. Now that's not to say they aren't working on the um, C1000s. They did say they are going through the last inventory of that before just moving on to different vehicles. And it's a common theme here. You'll see that, you know, all these stocks coming up to earnings, we've got a run up. Stocks are definitely getting a little hot here, at least on the shorter term time frames, becoming overbought, you know, and look at it, Indy, it just absolutely broke broke out is continuing to run but it is finding some resistance here towards the high sevens i personally expect it to retrace a bit coming up to earnings and earnings is going to be august 11. so one great thing that i see here is the revenue they're expecting 25 million now that is going to be the best quarter they've had in terms of revenue and it just gets better and better every single quarter they continue to increase that revenue and typically they give great guidance so I'm definitely going to be looking for the same with Indy here coming up on the 11th. Definitely stick around for Indy. I highly recommend it. It's a very slept on stock in my opinion. They've got a great executive team that really knows their stuff. And they're in one of my favorite industries, semiconductors. Now we've also got Matterport reporting earnings August 10. I really don't cover this one that often. I've been just kind of watching it. But I've got something interesting to show you here on the chart. Now you'll notice that we're in this kind of a downtrend. Now it did just break out of it in the beginning of July. And it's been slowly pushing higher coming up to earnings funny enough now i think we have to get past earnings and then matterport will continue a move whether it's to the upside or to the downside depending on how earnings goes and depending how they give their future guidance now it seems with everyone every time with this one you know they give their earnings doesn't seem all that horrible but you know they're just their future guidance isn't impressive so that's what i want to see i want to see matterport give some decent forward guidance give some good expectations in quarters moving forwards now they are expecting uh 29 million which is going to be one of the best quarters they've had so that is definitely encouraging but you know one year ago just about they did report this much so i do want to see them at least get this 29.5 it'd be great to see them hit 30 million in revenue but you know that's definitely an improvement over a few quarters past if they can just continue their trajectory continue to raise their revenues over time i will be more than happy with matterport you know and where it's at now i see it as a great dca i've been Kind of just avoiding it as it's been a falling knife but you know ever since may 11 this one has actually created new lower lows however it's getting to a point here that it's becoming very very attractive to me and i'm honestly going to wait until earnings see how it goes and i will likely be adding to my matterport bag finally after earnings it's definitely been a while i've just been kind of letting it 
be a falling knife and do its own thing. However, now I think that time has passed and I think it's a great time to start adding again to Matterport. And next up, this one is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. This is going to be Cincyonix or SENS stock. Now they're going to be reporting August 8th, definitely going to be a busy day. Now we have some recent news here for Cincyonix that just took this price and absolutely skyrocketed it. We broke out of this ascending wedge here. We came all the way up to a little over $2 before kind of petering off. Now I think this is definitely going to consolidate a bit coming up to earnings and depending on where earnings goes, that's going to give us a direction for Cincyonix. Now it's definitely huge news, this recent news, and I can see why it pushed as much as it did because it's a pretty big deal, you know, for a company like Anthem to take Cincyonix's product and now offer it to their clients. I think that's pretty huge. And to me, that just further confirms what I see with Cincyonix, that their product is extremely innovative and that they have something that can definitely take a lot of market share from some of the market leaders, the Dexcoms of the world, you know? And when you think about Dexcom, where they're at market cap wise, and you see Cincyonix market cap, you definitely see a lot of potential for Cincyonix. Now, I'm not saying that right now they deserve the market cap Dexcom has not even half that much. But, you know, over time, I can definitely see them taking more market share, getting to where they're finally profitable, continuing to innovate, eventually having a year long CGM. That would be awesome. And just getting their product out there to more users. I think Cincyonix will be a great stock to own for the long term. Now, I definitely want to see them come in line with this revenue, but I'm really going to be concerned with their call. I'm really going to be paying attention to all the little details when they talk about Anthem and also all their details in terms of the Europe expansion, you know, that using Essentia with Europe and expanding in that market. So it's definitely going to be a big earnings call for Cincyonix and I will be tuning in and I will be probably providing you guys with a cut up edited version of their earnings call. But thanks so much for watching guys. Just wanted to bring a couple of these stocks to your attention. It's going to be a big week for these guys. So keep an eye on all of them. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below. What are you going to be watching this week? Is there a stock that I missed? I am aware I believe uh, Neo's reporting earnings. I definitely got to cover them. But let me know if you have any others in mind for this earnings week or even the week after. Thanks so much guys for watching and take it easy.